Greetings, dear viewers! I'm Quill Quickcard, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. I have now reached the part of this game that, since I've never played Platinum before, is going to just be completely new to me. Uh, just a reminder, there are going to be Pokemon encounters up ahead. Uh, Spear Pillar is specifically called a different location name. So if it's a valid choice, I can catch any static encounters here or in the Distortion world, assuming it also has a label. Gonna try and keep the fast forwarding to non existent at this point. Okay. Time to focus. Schoolboy Chloe and Schoolboy Cristiano. Luxray and a buddy. Alright. That. Shouldn't be a problem, I think. Let's see. Um, I don't like the look of that Luxray. Oh! Um, I did not refresh my PP. I probably should have done that. Bernie down. Or Burmy. Okay, that ice pack needs to come off now. Been trying to take care of my sore shoulders and arm. Okay, Almanite dies to Leaf Blade. And Fortress dies to Fire. You know, I may as well take out Fortress. There's really no better option here. I don't want to be dropping Surfs. I'm not 100% certain from this point out if, uh, you know, there would be another fight after this one or uh, if I have, like, a heal opportunity coming up. I'm entering unknown territory here. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing a little bit of the left channel audio there. Huh. Oh, well. The important thing it Ah, that's why. The headphones weren't actually plugged in all the way. Alright. Okay. Repels effect wore off. Um I really don't have a lot of Lepa Berries, but I can afford to spend one of them on this. Sure, regular potion top us off, why not? Alright, first up, Mars. And we've got Nuisance, who, yeah, I have no doubt will be utterly useless. Delcaddy, okay. 
Pidgey. Pidgey is low priority. We can afford a Force Palm on Delcat. All right, Delcaddy down. Okay, Blizzard. Bernie resists, so that's good. Oh no, that was Perugly's attack. Oh wow! Oh my God, Nuisance actually did something useful. You know, I I keep coming down on Nuisance, but the the Nuisance battles have consistently been the bane of this. Friggin' Nuzlocke. Um, Militech hopefully dies to Leaf Blade. Depends how its stats are rolled, I think. Okay, Militech survives Leaf Blade. Alright, Bounce, probably targeting Bernie. No! Oh my god, I think that kills. No, the sandstorm kills! Oh! Mm. Oh, I'm pissed. I'm pissed! Freaking counter! Come on! Damn it! Bernie was my strongest fighter. By far. I basically down to one usable fighter. That's Figlet. God, I'm pissed about that. Shit. That's, that's bullshit. That is utter and complete bullshit. You're kidding. A Rhyperior immune to water. Damn. And I nearly killed Perugly. Okay, ice at least is going to hurt it. Okay. And it's got a citrus berry. Freaking hell. And... Alright, Whismur's not much of a threat. Okay, Perugly's down. This is an insanely fast Rhyperior. Alright, it's 2v1 now. Please kill, I beg you. Okay, Rhyperior down. It's 1v1 now. Headbutt shouldn't do much. I am so goddamn angry right now. It just... Everything about that was terrible. Counter wasn't even enough to kill, but it just had to be paired with a Sandstorm Charizard. Alright. I might be at the point of no return, though, so... I don't know if I'll actually have a chance to move Bernie out of the way. Per my rules, if I'm forced into fights after Bernie gets a full heal, I'd have to spend my first move to switch to Figlet. That... that really sucks. Um... I may not even get the opportunity 
to visit a PC. Okay, Dialga and Palkia. Hello, you two. Uh, kind of weird, you know, the last time I saw you, Palkia, I could have sworn you were a centaur. And Dialga looked like you had uh, swallowed way more than you could handle. Those sprites are beautiful. Okay. All right, Cyrus. Well, well, well. That's a cool little cutscene. I should have expected as much. Yuxi, the being of knowledge. Azelf, the being of willpower. And I forget the name of the third one. The Pokémon have come to protect Sinnoh. Pathetic and worthless. It takes the three of them, the three lake Pokémon that symbolize spirit, to balance either the Pokémon of time or space but they can't maintain balance against the two. Not when both Dialga and Palkia are here. Their coming here is in vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, Quill, you've constantly interfered with my plans, but you will be forgiven. After all, there will remain no spirit for all the time when I am done. All spirit will disappear. It will be ripped away from you, from your Pokémon, from those precious to you. It is time. My dream will be my reality. What is this pressure I feel? Something is enraged. Hi, guys! I'm here, too! And you've been a bad boy. Interesting. So there is a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I have harnessed the powers of Dialga and Palkia. Yeah, about that. I, Cyrus, won't have any more to fear! Holy crap! No! Ooh. It's so cool finally seeing this for the first time. Hi guys! I'm Mesperit! I'm going in the hall too. I'm sorry I took so long. I think I finally found the answer from studying the myths. When this world was made, Dialga and Palkia appeared. Apparently there was one more Pokémon that appeared at the same time. A Pokémon with as much power as Dialga and Palkia, but also one whose name was never to be spoken. Therefore, I obviously will not speak its name. It's said to lurk in another world, a world on the opposite side of ours. That's what the shadow was. It must have been he who must not be named. The pillars are distorting. Oh, cool, they are! Look at that! They're all bent. It's because of that portal. It's joined us to the other world. If it's not closed, the distortion will spread to Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? We have to chase Cyrus. God, no, I am not ready. Are you insane? I need to get off this damn mountain. I have to go say bye to Bernie. And I'm really upset about that. And then I have to climb this God's forsaken mountain again. 
And I should probably grab some more escape ropes while I'm at it. Well... I am down to one combat-ready Pokemon. And I don't have the slightest idea what's going to be in the Sorsion world. Um... I guess Gamble's coming with me. Um, I... I cannot risk this in my current condition. I have absolutely no choice. I... I, uh... You know... I think, um... I think I've got to do it. I don't want to go out and do another big, huge, um, like, level up thing. Um, it might be possible. It might be possible to build a set on Gamble that would enable it to uh, survive, maybe even set up a little. I do have really good defenses, and I do have heal order. So, we could run minimize to set up. Um, sleep powder? I mean, I'm definitely moving, I'm definitely running some kind of a weird, uh, Some kind of a weird setup here. But how how can I kill? I need some way some reliable way. that I can also kill with Gamble. Oh, freaking hell. Bernie was my flyer. Okay. Um... Well, who else has fly? Does anyone else have fly? You're dead. I need to release you. Well, let's fill the party. Let's see who can learn fly. 
I cannot believe that I am actually... <laughs> I'm actually having to figure this out. Um... Sure, Grabbles, I don't... I, I, I genuinely don't care. Larry needs to come with me to do the HMs. Let's take a quick look in Pastoria and see if I can learn anything helpful with that other heart scale that I have. Maybe, maybe not. Honestly, I don't have much else I can realistically do at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, Gamble, please tell me you can learn something helpful. Um... Aerial Ace is pretty good. Parish song. I think that is the secret. I think what I do is Set up with sleep. Um, I I don't know it. This is not this is not an ideal situation. But uh, it 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 may be the best that I can hope for. Parasong, at least, is reliable. Okay. I'm still so upset with what happened to Bernie. Okay. Well, let's go climb a mountain. Uh, I do have surf and strength, rock climb, rock smash. Okay. I'm going to do a quick cut while I climb the mountain. Where's my button? Okay. It's time. So, what is the distortion world? We must find the Pokemon whose name we definitely can never mention. Don't say its name! You just said you can't say its name. Oh, this is weird. Oh, it's a multi-level. Okay. It's a 2D, 3D um, dungeon. Fair enough. 
This kind of terrain actually um, reminds me of uh, some of the sort of things that we would see in uh, Generation 5. Oh, that's such a cool effect. I love that. So far, it's really nothing but aesthetics. Honestly, I'm okay with that. Let's see. There we go. Hi! So, how are you doing? Oh, uh, let's try this way. Uh, this way again? Sure. I'm pretty sure we're reaching new areas. Maybe? Okay, so that wasn't it. Um... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's progress. I think. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, nope. Never mind. Go, please, please go back down. Oh my god, no. Obey me, strange floating platforms in the void. Look, I've played enough Final Fantasy, okay? I should have full rights to command all mysterious floating voids, okay? Oh, hey, Cyrus. The shadowy Pokemon isn't here. It abandoned me here, then disappeared somewhere farther down. Was it me content merely to interfere with my plan? Incidentally, do you understand the concept of genes? That is a weird-ass question. Yes. Yeah? I mean... That's... One way of simplifying the complexity of DNA, yes. Uh... Yeah? Not really. Um... Oh, okay. So, what, what exactly are you trying... Okay, sure. Thanks, Cyrus. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay. My instinct tells me to go this way. My instinct was wrong. Okay. This is spooky okay. I'm doing some very confident hoppings, you know. Considering that I think the consequence of not landing on a platform is falling forever. Okay, are, are you telling me to push that? Because yeah, I can I can push that. 
Okay. Um. So what what do you need me to do with it? Okay, sh sure, we'll push it, I guess. Uh, you're standing by this pit. I have no idea what's happening. All right, is this really just as simple as, um, oh, okay. Is, is this really just as simple as find the pits and drop boulders into them? Because I can do that. Hmm. No apparent way forward through there. What about on the other side of this water? Hmm. Is there somewhere I have to sit in the water? Oh. Nope, that's... that's not it. Hmm. Well, Yuxi flew... up... when I last saw it. So, presumptively, the answer is somewhere up here, but my way forward... is somewhat limited. I feel like there should be something here with the water, but there doesn't seem to be. And nothing over here. E oh, of course. That's what I needed to do. Okay. Yeah, don't don't worry, Mess Spirit. I got this. I super got this. And then I'm not able to backtrack to the central platform from my current position, at least not to reach the center. There we go. Okay. Now progress is being made again. Oh. Okay. Hi, Garatina. I was told we're not supposed to say your name. Um. Do we just go over and around? Is that it? Okay. So that's a one way. Hmm. 
I guess just keep following the one ways. This is really cool. I would have absolutely loved this if I'd uh, played it when I was younger. Is there something over here? I feel like I've already been at this location. Am I? I think I have somehow managed to completely backtrack by several levels. Um, unless that's the intended path, I... I don't know. It it really feels like I'm backtracking. It really, really feels like I've been here before. I... If I am backtracking, then... It's really annoying to me <laughs> that going to a location which I definitely had not been to before uh I Okay, maybe that's new. No, I, I have literally successfully managed to backtrack all the way to the entrance. And that is super annoying to me that a location I know for a fact I hadn't been before, the area with, uh, with all the disappearing, um, like, platforms and things... Where the, like, the trees and the blocks would appear or disappear. It really pisses me off that I was apparently somehow able to blindly backtrack from that spot. I can't help but feel like that's not a thing that should have been doable. And because there are so few distinguishing features, it's not hard to get turned around here. Yeah, like, look, here's a ledge. So I have no way of getting back there. Um... No? So... Okay. Okay, I, I am back at the center. So, we go down... And we push a boulder, and this time it needs to go all the way into this pit. Okay, alright, that's working. I know this is uh, a bit 
of a longer episode. Honestly, I just really want to get done with the distortion world. I want to see what's at the end of it. And I want to learn the identity of this mysterious Pokemon at the end of everything. Okay, no. Th this is how this is how we got set back last time. Um <sighs> okay. So... Okay, there's a Cyrus over there. Okay. So this should reset us. No, this is new. This is new. Okay, it might have been guiding me over here. Thank you, Giratina. That's a cool effect. Um, hmm. I... Hmm... Uh, th this is new. But it doesn't... seem to lead anywhere. D okay, sure. The waterfall. I, you know, I'm really glad that the Pokemon games have clearly established that waterfalls are non-traversable. You know, unless you have the HM waterfall. And then added a dungeon where the only way to proceed is to traverse a waterfall without the HM for waterfall. Okay, and then this goes back down the level. Here we go. Okay. Alright. This should give me progress. If I can just survive this episode, um, I will... I will have access to new locations. Um, hi. Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right. Puzzle has been solved. Now we're going back to probably combat. And of course, we have to uncover the secret hidden identity of this demonic Satan Pokemon that cannot be named. So, you were already here. Why do you seek to change the world? If you hate our world, you should just go off somewhere alone. Find somewhere you can live without seeing others. Why should I run and hide from the world and have to wait quietly? Because you're a coward and a failure either way. My aim is to rid our world of the vague and incomplete thing we call spirit. By freeing our spells of that, our world can be made complete. I... Yeah, you're just a crazy person. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Super hype. This is the fight. It's designer Mike once more. Freaking hell, he has a Zapdos. I do not like that. Please tell me it dies to one ice thing and doesn't know thunder. 
Okay. Good. I beg of you, let that be your last strong one. Okay. Uh... Surf. Surf hits neutral. I don't think Volbeat and Illumise are flying. I think they're bug electric. Okay, that's two down. What else? That is a goddamn Reggie Gigas. Okay, it's got massive base stats and doesn't have slow start. Okay, copycat? That's fine. I resist surf. I significantly resist surf. It dies in two hits. Okay, that's a scary one down. Two to go. Weeping Bell should die to one Ice Fang. You asshole. Okay, we're in sunlight now. Fire is strengthened, Surf is at half strength. <sighs> Damn it. Alright, what's your last one? Layron. Uh, even with sunlight? You die to one or two surfs, I believe. But you're the last, so you probably have a citrus berry and will get a heal. No, you don't. Okay, alright, we did it, we did it! We did it! Designer Mike is down! Figlet has saved the day. Oh, thank God. Don't think that you can defeat or capture that Pokemon. This bizarre world is none other than that Pokemon itself. Capturing it or defeating it will make this world disappear. Very well, do it well. Rather than repairing the world, you're going to destroy it for me. Do it. You inherit my legacy. Dude, just go be emo somewhere else, okay? I cannot wait to see what this... Pokemon is. What Pokemon is it? What what power created this twisted reflection of the world? I must know. I must know the secret identity. Appear before me. Who knows what the true dark power of this universe is. I'm not afraid of you. So, you claim that you are Giratina. What are you really? Reveal yourself, Satan of Pokemon! Oh, crap! That's actually still just a Giratina. Um, well, I can't catch it, but it's weak to Ice Fang. Is it randomized? Okay, it dies in two of them. And it flinched. That is the end of the Pokemon Devil. Good job, Diglett. All right. Yeah, I beat it, Cyrus, so screw you. Uh, d dude, just, uh, ju just go away. Uh-huh, uh, oh no. Cy Cyrus is having uh Cyrus is having a breakdown. 
Yeah, you, you can ramble all you want, Cyrus. Quite frankly, um, you lose. Well, I was actually kind of hoping that that fight would be randomized, so, you know, like, maybe it would turn out like a Caterpie or something was, you know, the real secret evil, but guess not. Leave me right here. Leave me right here. No, 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 no. Don't. Don't you dare not let me into there. Okay, that that's fine. Um, let, let's confirm our location for certain. Uh, we are on the Spring Path. Okay. Spring Path, new location. Can I capture a Pokemon? Please, for the love of all that is sacred. That's a Pupitar. I do not believe I have ever used this line in a successful Nuzlocke. This is a valid catch. I have almost no way of hurting it. Don't have Earthquake. Okay. Alright, that's good. We, we got out of the Distortion World and... Um, I think it's rock and ground, so it would probably die to surf. I don't think it's actually dark type yet. Okay, that's problematic. Well, one surf will definitely break the substitute. Power swap. Um, let's do one more rock smash. Okay. Its health is... Alright, and then it uses a substitute. Can I throw at substitutes in this generation? I forget. Okay. No, I can't. Uh... Pupitar is going to have a bit of a lower catch rate, but I do have two Dusk Balls. And I've now opened up multiple new locations for uh, exploration and potentially to get new Pokemon. So, believe it or not, I am now finally in a better position, and I actually have a chance to recover and prepare myself properly before I make a push to the last gym, and then, of course, to the Elite Four. Uh, but it, it's it's gonna take some effort. It's gonna take some doing, you know? And, uh... I mean, Pupitar doesn't evolve until level 55, so... Even if this thing evolves into something... decent, we're not gonna know it for a while. Uh... If I get bored, I could always chuck a Master Ball at it. It's not like I can use it on any Legends. Okay, that won't be necessary. Alright, Pupitar. Not bad! We have another new team member. And I shall name you... Spork. So, let's see what we actually got with Spork here. Uh, it's got Gluttony, mostly defense-focused. Actually, pretty good stats all around. The only thing that's really weak is its attack stat. Ugh, terrible. Terrible moves on that thing, though. Um, might as well check for items. Negative on items. I don't have anything that can fly. Because, of course, I don't have anything that can fly. 
Um, Gamble was able to learn fly, though. So, uh, I actually have two TMs for Sleep Powder, so we can just get rid of one of them. There we go. I was right about that, right? Like, I have another one? Yeah, I do. Okay. Not bad. Uh, so, Professor Rowan. That would be back in Sand Gym Town. So, let's deposit our new friend here. Go through some dialogue, and then, um... See if we can check one more location uh, before the end of this episode. We'll, we'll just put Spork in there for now. Don't worry, Spork. I will definitely be coming back for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heal me up. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Professor Rowan. I found the devil. Yep. Leave you speechless. Your heart's pounding. Uh-huh. Yeah. I totally helped you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So... Presumptively, all three of the lake locations will now contain a Pokemon. Uh, although the one up here at Lake, whatever the hell it's called, uh, probably won't actually be the encounter. It'll probably just be like in regular Diamond and Pearl and it'll just go fly off and God knows how we'd ever even be able to tell if that Pokemon is added to any of the lists. It's not like we have a good understanding of what's supposed to be anywhere at this point. Alright. Hi. Bye. Yeah, Rowan, I, I know that. Now it's just out flying. Uh, next location. Let's hit up Lake Acuity. I've still got a little while before I need to, uh, shut stuff down and go to bed, so. Why not close out this, uh, this legendary episode by, uh, finding some actual legends, you know? Alright, let's find out the true identity of this legendary Pokémon. Sure, it looks like it might be a, uh, I think that one's Yuxi. It looks like it might be a Yuxi, but what is it really? Oh my god. Sableye. Sableye appears yet again. How many times am I going to have the chance to catch a Sableye? No, no, you know what? No, I'm not even giving it the chance to get away this time. I am sick of not having this rat bastard on my team. Get in the goddamn ball and stay there finally 
At last, I have a Sableye. And so, it was inevitable. Oh my god, I have been hurt by Sableye. I've been killed by Sableye. I have tried to catch Sableye more than once, and now finally it is mine. Those are really good stats. Those are not very good moves, but I don't care. I finally have a Sableye. A Pokemon which has no weaknesses at all. You're a damn right that is getting a permanent spot on my team. Holy hell. Oh. Oh, that felt good. Oh, that felt so good. Okay. Finally. Finally. I have a Sableye. Okay. Last lake. Lake Valor. Now, this is really important. I have never been able to have a wild Pokemon encounter at this location because the only times it's been accessible the water was drained so we can get an encounter here on the water and an encounter on the lake uh on in the lake cave itself uh that is a skaroopy that is a gen 4 has not been used that is a valid choice Another option. I am really, really happy about that. Alright, let's start throwing balls. And Skorupi has been caught. Uh, this one will evolve. So, we don't really know what this one will turn into. Uh, so, as far as ability doesn't really matter, although, holy hell, it has no guard. <laughs> that is terrifying. Alright, and lastly, now into the cave. So, this supposedly was Azelf, but we all know its true secret identity is that all along it was actually a Mankey. Well, Mankey we can't use. And we all know why. We all remember the great tragedy of Monkey. Whatever, just just kill it and call it a day. Goodbye, Monkey. All right, so much for that one. So now there is the route leading uh, to Sunny Shore City. And then if we can access the Sendoff Spring now, that is another location. Alright, Route 222. What do we have on Route 222? It is a Raticate. Which, yes, we have used that line before. Can't use it here. Moving on. Uh, we can just head north to the spring path from here. Oh, Yon Mega, that would have been nice. How unfortunate. Hopefully Cynthia isn't still hanging out in front of the cave. 
Um, it would be nice to have this area accessible. All right, did you move, Cynthia? This is very important. Damn it. Why didn't you move? Well, this doesn't lead anywhere, right? No. Okay. Okay, then. All that remains is Route 222, Sunny Shore City, Route 223, uh, Victory Road. I am now very, very near the end of my journey. But I got some Pokemon I'm going to have to train up. Because I am not having a repeat of what happened today. Um, I've got some decisions to make. And I will see you all on the next one.